A lot of people think that I got like work done right here oh. because my eyebrows were like this. My eyebrows mm -hmm. go this. Mm -hmm. But what people don't know is Cardi jumped onto the Power 106 podcast, sporting colored contact lenses and ultra thin eyebrows. And when asked about her new look, she decided to open up about her surgery. I, I got my nose done. Mm -hmm. I got my nose done in 2020. So, you know, like when you get your nose done, it takes like three years to heal. A lot of people think that I got like work done right here oh. because my eyebrows were like this. My eyebrows mm -hmm. go this. Mm -hmm. But what people don't know is I shave half my eyebrows <gasps> and oh. then fill it. So, yeah. So, yeah, because my eyebrows are naturally right here and they go down like a so sad face. So, you just cut it right here. I I cut it right and there. Then, yep. I cut it right there. And then I, I draw it. Cardi explained to Complex why she decided to get the surgery back in 2020. All right, so I had my daddy nose. I had a big, long ass church church bell nose. Like, she gotta go. Fans praised her honesty, appreciating her transparency on the topic. She also addressed the criticism she gets online on the Big Boys podcast and revealed how much of a struggle it was. Imagine me getting online and y'all stripping me down for everything, for my talent, for the way I look, for the way I talk, for the way I breathe. That's just not an easy thing. And I feel like I have lost myself and I'm regaining myself. She then admitted that posting online and hearing negative feedback caused anxiety. Do you have anxiety? I feel like I got, I haven't got diagnosed, but right. I definitely feel like I got anxiety, but it's like, Anxiety ain't got you here, baby girl. Fans appreciated her vulnerability and showed their support in the comments. Cardi also noted that people try to get under her skin by coming for offset. Sometimes people just automatically, if they if they want to hurt my feelings, they is like they're gonna like try to pick on uh, trying to pick on offset and everything. And that was driving me crazy. Like that was driving me crazy. Like I just had like thoughts of like repeatedly yeah, people. This isn't the first time Cardi's personal life has been a hot topic. Cardi B has been fighting fans on the relentless romance rumors about her and offset huh? did i say I, I was back together with somebody did i say that did you hear that did i say it did he said it no but despite her getting heated she has now spilled the tea on what the pair got up to the other night on new year's eve the two were spotted partying in a miami club and cardi has now admitted on an ex chat room that they slept together was i clubbing with my baby father yesterday yes did i got down yesterday Absolutely, baby. Fans flooded the chat room with comments, with one saying, she let her fans have it because they were right. Although Cardi admitted to their relations, she did explain that this doesn't mean the pair are back together. I don't consider they were back together because the answer of getting back together is not a good night at the club and f***ing the night long. We need to work on our shit. We need to work on our communication. So we work that out. I don't feel like we're back together. Fans will have to wait and see if the pair can work through their problems or if the damage is too far gone.